Hey, hi, good morning. It's Jim. It's Saturday. It's time for Upeth. Uh, last time we've been here was about two months ago, so I thought it was about time we revisited some Upeth. Now, this has been uh, uh, requested by a handful of people on the channel. Um, a song called Deliverance, uh, recommended by Inf Infin Infinity Garden, uh, Bill Gonzo, Nova Wolf, uh, Demon Killer 123, and I think... Um, no, that was it. So a handful of people, uh, but it's it's quite a long song. It's about thirteen-ish minutes. Um, I think I kind of know where this is going to be uh, vocally. Uh, the band is um, is it Michael or Mickle uh, who does the singing? Does the sort of the growling style? The sort of sort of the uh, it does clean vocals as well, but it's sort of a combination of growling and clean. So if you can get over that, I think musically this band is absolutely brilliant um really really like them so we're gonna go for this this is a song called deliverance uh, it's 13.36 minutes long um from an album called deliverance which was released in 2002 so it's been around uh oh god 15 16 17 years something like that uh so it's quite old um now i've lost the video yikes uh, there it is so this is the lyric video I need this. All right. I'll see you guys on the other side. Three, two, one. That's very, very fast bass drum. Love all the little parts in here. It keeps mixing it up.
Yeah, I like this bit. Very good. this bit.
Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yes. Bloody hell. Hmm. That's a bit of a master class in rhythm, isn't it? Um, that's genius. Absolutely love that. Um, I think I've said this before. I'm not a huge fan of the growling vocals, but once you get over that and you sort of tune your ear in, and actually having the lyrics on there, I could hear more of what it was he was singing. Um, but musically, musically and uh, rhythmically, this was absolutely phenomenally good. Absolutely brilliant. It's the first time I think I've listened to a studio um, song by Opeth. I think the other three that I've done uh, have all been uh, live, uh, ones at a gig. Um, again, very good. But this is, uh, you can really, really hear the production in here. And I was looking on uh, Wikipedia a little while ago about uh, about this particular album. And um, would you believe uh, Stephen Wilson is in there? Um, he's doing a bit of backing vocals, a few guitars, Mellotron piano keyboards, but also importantly, production and engineering. So he was he was producing. Um, really interesting. So I could I think you could actually hear that in some of that. There's some real sort of Stephen Wilson Porcupine Tree style influences um, in bits of that. And I have to say that the uh, the guitaring, uh, the riffing, and the uh, guitar solo on this were so lows I would say actually uh, absolutely brilliant they are they are very 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 good complicated uh, intertwining uh, melodic uh, groovy as well um, and and just so so right and good for this song drumming wise um, yeah it's kind of of another level I mean it's, it's it is technically very very clever very good precise, um, inventive. There were some really good bits in there with percussion as well. Uh, and the, uh, rather than it just being like a straight groove, uh, there's almost something like Danny Carey might do in Tool, but um, it's really good. Really, really good. And uh, lyric-wise, hmm, I, I mean, obviously I can, I can read what was going on there. I, I couldn't hear it, apart from obviously... Uh, once you get your ear in and you've got the lyrics on the screen, you can actually hear what it is that's being sung. But if I'd not had those, I wouldn't have heard of, uh, actually had got that at all. But I think, I know you're going to tell me I'm wrong, but it seems to be about uh, someone drowning somebody. Um, I'm not sure why or who or what for. Um, there you go. Drowning. Anyway... Apart from that, apart from that, is a really, really upbeat, fun song. Oh, Opeth, Opeth, Opeth. Why are you such misery guts? No, I'm only kidding. It is really good. I mean, I guess this is black metal, isn't it? Um, it's a progressive, dark, black, technical metal. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping it's just not sort of cliched about sort of death and that sort of thing. But uh, there is a story there. I'm not clever enough to really interpret these lyrics, uh, but hopefully... Some of you will have uh, have uh, read through the lyrics and know them and understand what they are and leave some comments and tell me what it's all about. Anyway, I'm rambling. It's getting very hot. I'm going to have to stop now. And I'll see you guys on the next video whenever and whatever that is. So and until then, this is Jim Ober and out.